Hey everyone, remember my uh, Infinity Solar Bank version 4 that I made and been selling on Tindy? I think I've sold about 12 of them so far. It's not a very fast seller. That's okay with me. It's a niche product. So, But here's what you normally saw and I sold the board itself, not, without, not with super capacitors. And it still works great. This is a pre-production unit that I've probably had now for what, five months? And it still runs perfectly. If you charge it up to 2.7 volts, it will run an LED at 15 milliamps for about 15 hours or so. Now, people were trying to figure out what can I, how can I enclose this? Well, here's one option for you, and this is what I did. Yes, it's a big solar panel. No, um, this is a three watt, six volt rated solar panel, if it'll focus correctly. There we go. Um, three watt, six volt solar panel, and it's put onto a nice big case. Unfortunately, I cannot remember the dimensions off the top of my head, but I will put that information down in the comments below. I want to say it's like a 200 by 155 or something like that, but I picked this case for a couple reasons. One, it is fully weather sealed, even after I put holes into it, it's still fully weather sealed. And inside, I got another one of the units glued in here perfectly fine, and I made a reflection chamber on the opposite side of it. And the top half is clear, so this way you get indirect lighting out of it, and at the same time I can show off my circuit board and everything. Plus, if I hit the button right here, this button is tied to what used to be the button on the inside right here. So, I removed that button and put two wires to it, and if we get good focus... Oh, would help if I actually had the power on it. There we go, now it's on. We see my supercapacitors in here are charged right now to 1.02 volts. And also has micro USB charging. So if I wanted to, I can immediately just plug into it and give it a quick charge. And if I bring this on over here to screen, we can see right now it's pulling one amp at 5.16 volts. And since I'm powered from here, even though the light's not on, it doesn't get quite as good of a reading for the five volts than it does on three volts. These things are very sensitive, but I do have power for getting a good idea of where it is. It always reads low when it's on USB power. The second I unplug it, turn it back on, that's a correct reading. See, now I'm at 1.23. Oh, power keeps on going on and off. There you go, 1.05 volts. So, you can USB charge it as well. Now, the difference is also, on this one, I'm using the cheap Chinese 500 farad fake supercapacitors, and it would run this for about 15 hours at 15 milliamps, single LED. If you look inside, you see the yellow ones. They are the true 400 farad supercaps. So, it's 100 farads less than these fake ones. But when fully charged at 2.7 volts, this will run at 40 milliamps output for 12 hours, roughly. Now, I'm not using a single little LED for it. I made my own little tiny circuit board in here. And I'm using 40, I think they're 4011 or 4013 LEDs. Let's see if I can focus in there at all. I'm using four of them in parallel. Let's see if I can get enough light. Turn it on. Or enough darkness to turn it on. Oh, had it for a second there. It's very sensitive about its darkness. There we go. And it will power them for 12 hours straight before shutting off. So the build itself, I think the case costs like $18 or so. Um, Supercapacitors are 60 for six of them. The reflective tape, believe it or not, I think it was like $6 for a roll of it. It's the two or three inch chrome tape that you get at like AutoZone or something like that. And the button was like $3 from um, IC Station. The micro USB port came off of Amazon or eBay. Uh, it's a sealed unit. I had to modify it slightly so I can get the hole in there correctly. But I can pour water in there and water will not go through the micro USB into the unit. It is still physically sealed on the inside of it. I just have it wired in. And you can see the two wires down below for the solar panel going to 
underneath here and plugging into the two ports I have behind the USB for charging right there. And I also fully put um, reflective tape on the top of it so this way when it was lit up no light would go through the solar panel at all and accidentally trick it on and off and give it a flickering effect. So we got tape running, silver tape running all inside there, open through the clear section and then on top of the clear I have silver tape running for basically the whole thing actually yeah yeah the whole top is uh, silver silver tape as well so you get a fairly good reflection out of it so there's one option for making a build on this if you're interested in reproducing this I will put a parts list down in the description for you thanks a lot